What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and OneDrive for Business. We're going to look at the action which is Find Files in a Folder. So this action actually allows you to pass in a search criteria or a search query, and it will return all the files inside the folder or inside your OneDrive for Business and list them out to you. So this could be used if you need to find certain, fold, uh, certain file names or, or certain files that contain a certain piece of data or contain a certain key phrase and then return those things to you. So let's take a look at it today. So I'm in my flow. I've got my OneDrive for Business here. I do have a trigger, but I'm actually just going to test from my, um, my previous runs to, to make that a little bit easier. And I'm going to click on New Step. And then I'm going to type OneDrive for business uh, once it wants to catch up and have a thing about today uh, there we go one drive for business i'm going to scroll down until we get find files in folder so um it's going to ask for a, for a few things first thing it's going to ask for is a search criteria so this is the query that we want to then search inside of OneDrive for. So you could have this being uh, the name of a file or its extension, for instance. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to search for that. So in this instance, I'm just going to write a letter T in. And what I want it to do is return any items with the letter T in the title. So uh, then the folder, uh, we now specify a folder. So in this instance, we need the friendly file uh, folder name. So we're going to choose Power Automate folder. So again, it's the friendly file format, not the one with the, the starts with the do with the, the path one. So we're going to choose that. And we're just going to search inside that folder, or at least we hope to. That brings you into the next bit, file search mode. So file search mode has two options. It has OneDrive search and pattern search. Now, if you use OneDrive search, what that's actually going to do is that's going to be like your search in OneDrive anyway, or your search in a, in a popular um, search engine like Bing, of course. Um, and that is going to search your entire drive. So even though we're specifying this folder in here, that OneDrive search is actually going to return anything inside your OneDrive for business. So if you if that's what you want, then you hit, you hit search, and it doesn't really matter what the folder is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose pattern. So what pattern does is that actually sticks it into like the only the folder that you're looking at and then uses your search criteria to then return the results. So I'm going to choose pattern in this case. We can also specify a number of uh, files to bring back. Um, as I hovered over there, it says max count of one, uh, 1 to 100. So we have a minimum of 1, a maximum of 100. It defaults to 10, and that'll be fine in this instance. So I'm just going to choose test. I'm going to run from my previous test, hit save and test. And then we're off and we're running. So this is looking at my OneDrive for Business folder. So this Power Automate folder here. And we're going to find anything with the letter T in it. So I'm expecting a lot of these files to come back. So if we go back to my OneDrive for Business. Uh, my flow for my OneDrive business, you can see here. So we've got a couple of things. So um, the first thing it's found is it's actually found the folder stop looping because it has a T in there. So if we scroll down a little bit more, we can then see it's also got my uh, customer order zip because again, there's a T in there. Uh, we've got my documents um, in there and we've got all the, all the other things that we've got in there. So we've got like a list of items that we've got. Now I can make this a bit more specific, so I could type, um, so I've got a name of one of my files in here, is PATVD. So if I type in PAV into here, it's the name of one of my files, I can hit test and I can search, uh, just run the test again, and this time it should only return a single item, I believe. Uh, flow's running, flow's successful, scroll down, uh, oh, it's actually, uh, uh, did I mistype that? Uh, yes, I did mistype that, it's P-A-T-V-D, not P-A-V, it's a P-A-T, it's my mistake, so it did exactly what it should do, didn't find that file, so uh, it is working. Um, uh, and then P-A-T, and we can see it does return a single document here, which is just this one, this one document. So it gives, gives me some information about it, it gives me the ID, so the path, 
um, the, the path here gives me the ID of the file, gives me the name of the file, um, gives me things that are last modified. So this can help you narrow down searches if you need to do searches in your in your um, folders. So maybe you have a bunch of documents going in and if um, someone's put a keyword in there, you may need to get that keyword, search through a bunch of your files for something, and then maybe do something with those files, maybe you know, create a sharing link to share them out to people or something else. Uh, as always, these things uh, are already limited by your imagination. So um, as always, I'd like to know what you guys use these things for. Uh, I think this is a really cool action. Uh, I think there's loads of good uh, use cases for it, especially if you're um, a heavy user of OneDrive for business, which I know a lot of businesses are. So there's loads of potential here. So let me know down below what you're using it for, what you may use it for in the future. Um, if you did like this video and you found it helpful, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would really help me out. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button uh, and to see all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.